What's up YouTube? Welcome to another installment of Cool Nerd Knowledge, where we take a look at the origin and history of all of your favorite comic book characters. Today we're going to take a look at the origin, the abilities and powers, and the history of one of Spider-Man's first villains, the Vulture. Don't mess with me, because I will kill you and everybody you love. Vulture was created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko and first appeared in The Amazing Spider-Man No. 2 in May of 1963. Adrian Toomes was an electronics engineer and inventor who was cheated out of his company by his business partner, Gregory Bestman. Toomes had created a flight harness and when he attempted to share this news with Bestman, he discovered his partner had been embezzling funds. This caused Toomes to snap and turn to a life of crime using his invention to become the Vulture. Now while in his harness, Vulture has the ability to fly and gain superhuman strength. He also has a genius intellect and master's degree in engineering. Prolonged time spent in his flight harness has given the Vulture a series of health problems, including cancer, so the harness that gives him his abilities is also killing him. Vulture was one of the first supervillains Spider-Man had ever encountered. With the help of his flight harness, Vulture robbed banks and stole jewels with an easy getaway. This made Vulture cocky and he would eventually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Spider-Man. Time after time, the wall crawler was able to defeat and jail Tombs, only to have him consistently escape. Early in his career, Vulture was busted out of jail by Dr. Octopus. Doc Ock gathered Spider-Man's greatest villains and created the supervillain team, the Sinister Six, to defeat the Webhead. The original Sinister Six consisted of Dr. Octopus, Vulture, Kraven the Hunter, Mysterio, Electro, and Sandman. They each faced Spider-Man one at a time in hopes to wear him down, but their plan backfired and Spidey defeated the villainous team and sent them all to prison. A common theme with Vulture in his past is his obsession with restoring his youth. Vulture first did this through biochemical means, and then did it again by stealing Spider-Man's youth. Thank you, my friend. Your super strength makes me feel stronger than ever before. The night is young, and so am I. <laughs> Finally, Vulture stumbled across the Green Goblin and Chameleon's plan to drive Spider-Man insane by having shape-shifting androids impersonate his parents. Vulture stole the artificial life force from the Mary Parker android, which once again rejuvenated his youth. Yeah, we know, it was a little bit of a stretch for the comics. Eventually, Vulture was reverted back to his age once again, when David Callan, a man with dissolving abilities, had touched him. Some side notes for Vulture, he was responsible for the death of Aunt May's boyfriend, Nathan Lebensky. Nathan leapt from his wheelchair and grabbed onto Vulture in an attempt to protect Aunt May. Vulture took him sky high where he had a heart attack in the air and died. During the Civil War storyline, S.H.I.E.L.D. sends Vulture after Spider-Man after Spidey goes rogue. He fails, as usual. And at one point, Vulture was actually on display in Craven's Sun Zoo of animal-themed superheroes. So there you have it for Vulture. This episode has been a little short, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you're looking to learn about other comic book characters, head on over to our channel, Cool Nerd Show. It would mean a lot to us if you like this video and subscribe to our channel, and hopefully we will see you guys over there.